a very ordinary run-of-the-mill Dyson DC25 and it has a very common run-of-the-mill Dyson DC25 problem. We're going to turn it on now, watch the brush roll. Power on, sounds good. We can drag the switch as many times as we like. She has a dead brush roll. In this video, I am hoping that we can diagnose and repair said fault. It's going to be one of three things, hopefully. It's either going to be the switch, that's probably my third choice. It's either going to be the wire running down here, that is my first choice, or it's going to be the motor, that is my second choice. Let's have a look and see how far we get down the chain before we get it running again. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and aging Dyson ball chums. How are you today? We are unplugged. So we're going to go straight for these three screws here. These three screws are a Torx. Oh dear, it's not the loom wire. That's a shame because this is the easiest place to go. They do fail miserably down here. I mean, it might still be failed, but I don't think it is. It's normally one of the wires that breaks, so fair enough. We're going to put this back on and for now, rule it out of the equation. This then puts us in a bit of a dilemma because it's going to be 50-50 now, whether it's down there or up there. One way that you can sometimes check, and you're not going to hear this so I'm just going to have to feel for it. So if you rotate the brush roll very slowly, if the motor has gone, you will feel it eventually catch on the blown segment of the con. And it seems okay. It's a bit of a rough spot, but that's probably just the brush roll itself. If the DC40 does this, it will blow a segment of the commutator of the motor completely out. And yeah, you can rotate, you can feel the remains of the destroyed carbon brush drop into it and then come out of it. And that's usually a fair indication. But, oh, goodness, I can get the wand out. In this case, I'm not going straight for that. It could still be this. These motors have a finite life. I'm sure I've seen. Well, what you want to do? I'm sure I've seen 60 odd hours quoted on some tech spec for the Johnston motor. You really need to come out because the easiest thing to check next is going to be our switch because it is just three screws. And we turn it around, gently slice this part off. Let's click down. Oh, there's all. Oh, yeah. On the DC25, there's also a reset switch. Oh, I forgot about this. And as you can see, it's quite well pushed in. I think somebody's been jabbing at this button for quite a while. And the problem is that can make all of the difference. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it like this. I'm going to decline it, as long as I don't touch anything up there, which is fairly well insulated anyway. If it was just that reset switch being pushed out of alignment and held down, in theory. It was just our brush roll reset switch. It's, I forgot about that. I have fitted a few in the past. I've got a nice little stash of them as well. Well, that's great then. If it was that simple. I'd say the motor is this is the problem with these aging Dysons, they all need something. And they, yeah, it, it wouldn't have surprised me at all if this needed all three. So I think we're going to pop the screws back in and do a test vacuum just to make sure that that was a complete success. Well, yeah, certainly plugging it in helps.
that seems successful. Let's just check. We'll turn it on again. And yeah, it comes on now. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. Well, all that actually happened was that reset switch got pushed back somehow, got jammed, and that was that because it, it gets reset every time you turn it on. It just couldn't do what it was designed to do. So, crikey, this might be an easy £20 to make. Oh, it's a shame about that. There, there you go. I don't think that was clipped in properly. Hello, are you coming off? No, again, it's all just worn. Bless it, it's getting a bit old now, but hey, judging by the groom lines, she's still got it in her. And the whole machine's in pretty good condition. I had a peek earlier. I shall give you a peek now. That is, yeah, that is in need of a wash. I'll be honest, it's probably due it. I have to tell the owner, but it's doing all right. It's getting there. It's very clean and tidy. It's just that little switch. So there we go. Have you had such an easy Dyson repair? Comment down below. Equally, if you're fairly confident in your broken DC25 that it's nothing to do with the head, nothing to do with that loom, and nothing to do with the main switch, yeah, check the little reset switch. But until the next little Dyson repair that we have to do, I and some other DC25 will see you soon. Bye bye.